you have to control diabetes. If you let it control you, then it's going to be a nightmare, really. You have to do diet and you have to take regularly injections, as doctor has instructed. Tukana na dawa amu na viva pimia. Maki paka upimia ndo una choma sito. Worldwide, more than 240 million people are living with diabetes and the number is growing every minute. Children are not spared from this global epidemic or from its life-threatening complications. Every day, 200 young children develop diabetes. For many children, diabetes is a death sentence. Life expectancy in many parts of Africa is reduced to a single year if you require insulin to survive. Diabetes is one of the world's major health challenges, and yet too little is being done to tackle it. The International Diabetes Federation is uniting the world to stop this silent killer. The United Nations has passed a landmark resolution that recognizes diabetes as a chronic, debilitating, and costly disease. The resolution designates World Diabetes Day November the 14th, as a United Nations Day to be observed every year. This year, World Diabetes Day is addressing the escalating problem of diabetes in children and adolescents. I was diagnosed a year ago, diabetes type 1, and now insulin dependent. Then we had to learn on how to inject her properly, at the right time and using the right dose. The biggest problem is nothing, only to take injection morning. All over the world, more young people are developing diabetes. It is one of the most common chronic diseases of childhood. It strikes children at any age, even toddlers. Yet diabetes is often diagnosed much too late or overlooked completely. Type 1 diabetes is the most common form of diabetes in the young. It is growing by 3% per year in children and adolescents, and even faster among preschool children. Type 2 diabetes once considered a disease of the elderly, is growing at alarming rates in children and adolescents. The rising consumption of food that is high in saturated fats and sugars, increased urbanization and sedentary lifestyles all contribute to this increase. Childhood obesity is rapidly becoming a major global health problem. More than 17 million children under the age of five are overweight. These children have a very high risk of developing both diabetes and heart diseases. Sukari ni ugonjwa mbaya sana. Sukari unaweza kukatwa miguu. Sukari unaweza ukapata ugonjwa wa moyo. We should not put on more weight. You have to be less. When you're first diagnosed, there doesn't seem to be as many problems. But when later on in life, there does seem to be things like your eyesight and things like that. She can play, she can go to school, she can read. The only problem comes when it comes to eat and to follow the rules. Insulin is the main life-saving medication that people with type 1 diabetes need to survive. But insulin is not available or easily accessible in many parts of the world. Many children in low- and middle-income countries are unable to access insulin and appropriate diabetes care. As a result, they risk developing serious complications at a young age and often die. Lack of insulin can result in diabetic ketoacidosis, also known as diabetic coma, the leading cause of disability and death in children with type 1 diabetes. If left untreated, it has a 100% death rate. Both type 1 and type 2 diabetes can lead to serious complications. 
diabetes is responsible for over one million amputations each year. Diabetes is a major cause of blindness. It is the largest cause of kidney failure in the developed world. People with diabetes are far more likely to develop cardiovascular disease. In developed countries, despite access to modern treatments, many children with diabetes go on to develop complications in early adulthood. Awareness, education and early diagnosis is crucial to reducing the risk of complications and saving lives. I don't actually think of myself like being diabetic, I just think of it part of my life kind of thing and I can't do anything about it. First we got malaria, then she got like measles and she was becoming very, very tired drinks water and it was hard for me to know it was diabetes. Diabetes knows no mercy. It hits the developing world hardest. In many developing countries, the burden of diabetes threatens to undermine the benefits of improved standards of living, education and economic growth. Children are at particular risk. Diabetes can hinder their normal development, affect educational success and disturb the transition to adulthood. To ensure both child and family the best possible diabetes care, a skilled and multidisciplinary healthcare team is advisable. Support to caregivers and school personnel is vital. The situation in developing countries is bleak. Despite alarming figures, public health authorities, policymakers, and multinational donors are often unable or unwilling to recognize the threat of diabetes. I want to become a doctor. When I finish school, I'd love to be a lawyer. I know that it's a problem all over the world, and I'm glad that there's people that are trying to like crack down on it. It is possible to reverse the growing diabetes epidemic. In the future, we may find a way to cure or prevent both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. To do nothing is not an option. If we don't act now, our children will bear the future burden of diabetes. Adequate health care is a human right for all mankind. No child should die of diabetes. Join the world's largest diabetes awareness campaign, World Diabetes Day. While you have been watching this short film, 80 more people have developed diabetes. One of them is a child. World Diabetes Day is led by the International Diabetes Federation and supported by an alliance of diabetes associations, aligned organizations, industry partners and people living with diabetes.